So what exactly is terrorism? Well, according to the FBI, terrorism is someone or a group of individuals that force, that use force or violence, so that they use force or violence to intimidate others, all right? So terrorism or terrorists use force or violence to scare other people, to intimidate people. That's what terrorism is, according to the FBI, per the, uh, their definition. There are two different types. So there, there are two types of terrorists, of terrorists, two types. You have what's called domestic terrorists, and then you have what's inter called international terrorism or terrorists. Domestic, really, this just means that they're, they are homegrown. So they are from that, from that country, nation, or region that they're actually uh, using force against or violence against to uh, terrorize. So if I sound a little, a little off today, um, a little different, I'm a little sick, congested, so my voice is a little weird. But uh, domestic terrorism, this means that they are homegrown. The person... The individual or the group of individuals that are uh, terrorizing using force or violence against a nation are from that country or nation. That's what that means. Now, a few examples of uh, of domestic terrorists could be um, environmental, environmental groups. Not all of them, obviously. It's the ones that actually use force or violence to get their point across. This could be this could fall under that category of domestic terrorism. Um, also malicious. For example, people that are starting to collect guns or uh, have a big or a huge amount of guns and are anti-government stuff like that. They train so malicious. And another one could be. Uh, racial, that's not coming out right now, racial hate groups, alright, uh, like the KKK, Nazis, um, maybe the Black Panthers, but I, I doubt it, um, I think, I'm not sure they were actually hate for, but anyways, uh, I guess depending on who you ask, these two could also fall under domestic terrorists, alright? As far as international terrorists, that means that they are not homegrown. It's the exact opposite. So, uh, let's say that here is the U.S., a different country over here. Usually, uh, let's say this is Iraq, U.S. They would have to travel from Iraq to the U.S. and then blow up stuff, shoot up people. Uh, spread a chemical, something like that, because they are not from the region that they are attacking. So international terrorism or terrorist, they are just people that attack, so use force or violence on a nation or region that they are not a part of originally. So they, they are not originally from this part. Uh, and that's the difference between these two. There's not much to it. Um, a good example of this could be... ISIS, right? That's the big one nowadays. Even though you, you haven't, we haven't really heard uh, about them lately. And then Al Qaeda is another one. As far as what they use, these groups use a whole bunch of different weapons to get the point across, or to scare people, or use force or violence. And we call them weapons of mass destruction. So they can use weapons of mass destruction, which uh, you'll see WMD for short. I don't know why I put that in there. Like I said, I'm a little off. Weapons of mass destruction. But I don't really like to edit my videos. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave it the way it is. Like always, you guys get the main point uh, of this video. And that's really what matters here. Alright, so weapons of mass destruction. Now, an easy way to remember the different types of weapons of mass destruction that they can use, that terrorist groups can use, is ACBRN. Now, A stands for arms. This could be uh, guns, 
bazookas, rocket launchers, right? So, chemical, biological, radiological, uh, nuclear, and then explosions. I am going to make about uh, four videos just on chemicals. So, the next four videos that I'm going to make today, four or five videos, are going to be just on chemicals because there's so many different types of chemicals that could be used. Uh, but for now, the biggest point or the biggest thing that I want to get across with this video is just what terrorism is. They, it's a group of individuals or an individual that uses force or violence to scare people, to scare or intimidate people or governments. There are domestic terrorism, international terrorism. Domestic means that they are homegrown. A few examples I gave. International means that they are not from the region or nation that they are actually attacking. That's the difference. Uh, they will use weapons of mass destruction. And WMD stands for weapons of mass destruction. The different kinds of weapons of mass destruction that they can use fall under A, C, B, R, and E, which are arms, chemicals, biological, radiological, nuclear, and explosives. All right. And I will make different videos for these. Uh, but for sure, at least the next four videos, which I should be able to knock out today, will be on chemical. Let me know if you have any questions and leave a comment below.